Hi guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. If you've been around for a while, you know that I was pregnant and I have since had my baby boy. So he's here with me and you might hear him a little bit in the background, but today I just wanted to go through some of the baby essential items that uh, I've been loving, I've been using, and I've definitely been needing since giving birth to my first child. So I just wanted to show you what I found helpful and maybe it can help one of you or some of you hopefully so we're gonna get into it now so these are some of the items that I thought were really really helpful for um, mommies who are nursing so if you are nursing your baby which I did in the beginning I found some of these items really helpful so the first thing that I got is this uh, book called Lactivate and it's written by uh, board certified lactation consultant Jill Krause and Chrissy Rosenthal and I got this on Amazon for about 20 something dollars so um, and it's really helpful because it has lots of pictures in it and it's a very easy read and it kind of goes through what to expect what feeding cues are like how to latch all those different things that can be really confusing for first-time moms so hopefully um, this could be helpful for somebody too because I obviously had never breastfed before. So I found this really helpful. And then the next thing that goes along with the nursing breastfeeding uh, category is this silicone, um, like it's kind of like a, a suction cup manual um, breast pump. So it just suctions on, so you just squeeze the bottom and it suctions on to your body and the suction helps to draw out the milk and it just collects in the container so this is called a haka i think it's spelled h-a-k-h-a-a-k-a-a -A -A -A. and um my friend bought this for me on amazon i guess again i think it's about um twenty dollars or so so that was really helpful so it collects the milk and then you can just put it in a storage bag for later use then the other thing that I got, um, this was actually on my baby registry, was a uh, electric breast pump. So the brand that I have is called Lanaso, and it comes with this little pump with the buttons on it, and it just plugs in, and then it has the hose to attach here, and it goes to the pump as well. So that is really helpful too. And then this part comes off and it's actually um, the bottle. So say for example, like when you're when you're nursing, you have to feed like very, very, very often, especially in the beginning. So um, if you're pumping and then all of a sudden, oh, baby, baby wants some food, you can just put on the top and it's actually, oops, <laughs> it's actually a bottle. So it comes with the ring and the nipple and then of course the cap to keep it clean. So that's really nice and really handy too. Um, sometimes like baby's hungry and you're in the middle of pumping and you thought you had more time and then it turns out no nope, it's hungry but your nipples get sore and it's hard to latch every single time it's nice to have a different option so it's really great that they thought of that for this particular brand everything that I got from my Amazon um, baby registry I'll link in the description box below if you are interested so that's everything that I got um, for if you are nursing so now i'll move into if you are formula feeding bottle feeding your baby because i had to switch um, to that and um, some of the things that i got that were really helpful for that are these um, phillips avent bottles so i'll show you so this is the smallest one so this one's only holds up to a four ounce and then as my baby grows he needs more so i got the nine ounce bottles as well and they have different stages so the four ounce bottle the nipple on it is a stage one so it only has one little hole in the top so it controls how much milk the baby gets at a time and then this one is a stage two and it has two holes in the nipple so you have to kind of um watch out for that because sometimes like the baby um drinks too fast and you have to slow them down so sometimes like the lower stage is better for your baby so it just depends on what works for you sometimes you just have to try things and I've bought all different kinds of bottles so far and these ones are working the best and they do also happen to be one of the cheaper brands so that worked out well for our family and then the next thing I got this is also from a um, baby registry this is the Tommy Tippy bottle warmer and I think it was less than $70 
but it just plugs in and it has this little dial that you turn to from the one, two, or three setting. And um, it just heats up the bottle and then there's instructions that shows how um, long that you would put it in here for to heat it up depending on how cold the item is or how much fluid is in the bottle, for example. And it can also heat up jars of food as well. So you just put water inside. Well, I do, I put the bottle in first and then fill around the outside with water because the bottle's gonna displace how much water and you don't want it to spill. And for the size bottles that I use and how much food he needs, it only takes about six minutes to warm up and it's perfect every time. So I use this as many times a day as my baby eats and it is so handy and so helpful. So that is definitely a must have for me, the Tommy Tippy bottle warmer. Next up, uh, we for feeding is um, this nursing pillow. I got this on Amazon as well, and it just fits around your waist like this. And then you can hold baby right here, and their head can go on either side. And it just helps support the baby while you're feeding them. So whether you be uh, nursing, breastfeeding, or if you're bottle feeding, it takes the pressure off your back and your shoulders, and it supports the baby so that the baby is comfortable and so is mommy. So this is absolutely, absolutely one of the definite essentials that I have needed. And for all of my friends and family members that have had babies, this is the gift that I give them for every single time because it doesn't matter if you're nursing or if you're bottle feeding, you need something like this to take the pressure off your back and your shoulders so that mommy doesn't get hurt and can sustain feeding the baby, you know, 10, 12 times a day or however often they eat. So that is awesome. This actually has gone up significantly in price over the years. It used to be around $30 and now it's around 60, but it's definitely still worth every penny. Next up, I have um, this uh, soother and uh, cord combo clip. So these soothers I got um, are for zero to three months and they're the mom brand, M-A-M, and they come in this little case that um, keeps them clean and it also has a little chamber in the bottom that you can put water in and put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and it sterilizes them. <laughs> My baby's crying, he's with his dad right now. <laughs> and um, then I have this clip so this clips onto their clothes, which is absolutely essential to keep it clean because as soon as it falls on the floor, then obviously you can't use it. And uh, the soothers glow in the dark, but the clip doesn't. And it just opens and then the teeth clip onto your clothes like this, and then you just clamp it down and it just stays and it prevents it from falling anywhere. So these are definitely a must have if you are going anywhere basically outside your house <laughs> because you don't want to have like 20 soothers with you and you want to keep it clean uh, to to kind of calm and soothe your baby um, when in between feeds and help them to like relax so that they can sleep so um, definitely gotta have that and then next up I have this Avent Philips Avent um, bottle sterilizer system so this is just like a plastic container and the lid pops off and it's pretty tall so it can accommodate different size bottles and that has this little tray inside and you fill the bottom part with I think 200 mils of water and then you put this tray inside and then you arrange your bottles upside down with the nipples, the caps, and everything all inside here. And then you put the lid back on, clamp it shut, and it goes in the microwave. And based on um, the wattage of your microwave, it'll tell you in the instructions how many minutes to put it in for. So for my microwave, it takes six minutes, but at my mom's house, it only takes two minutes. So it just depends on what kind of wattage you have for your microwave and it sterilizes everything. So I put everything in here that he needs from his bottles to the nipples to the um, tongs that he used to touch the items. Um, his soothers go in here as well as I have a little shot glass that I use and um, for like if I have to give him gripe water or something like that. 
and uh, the little syringes too. So it can sterilize everything, it keeps baby safe and everything nice and clean. So this definitely is a must have. And I bought it at the grocery store, the one that I have at my mom's. But this one was actually a hand-me-down from my sister-in-law. So thank you so much to her. <laughs> so I have two, I have one at my mom's and I have one at home. So that is perfect for that. And then the next thing um, in terms of feeding is we switched to formula because my baby is lactose intolerant. So this is the kind of formula that we use. It's Enfamil A+, I don't know if you can see that. And it's a lactose free base formula. So these cans are concentrated cans and you have to add water to them. So it makes a batch at a time and then one can usually lasts about a day. So that's the kind that we use. And yeah, um, so we've switched to that and it's working well for him. And then uh, for feeding and for like comfort and snuggling, you need lots of receiving blankets. So we have these receiving blankets. I have a bunch of them, but this pattern is just so cute. It's got elephants and turtles and I think like Boston Terrier dogs and um, a little sailboats on it. I just love the colors. It's so pretty, it's such a cute pattern. So I have lots of them though and they all have different colors and patterns on them. And then you also need, whether you're nursing or bottle feeding, you also need, I think, lots of like little towels. So I just bought a bunch of different colored hand towels from the grocery store. And that way they can work really excellent as like over your shoulder for like a burp cloth. They work really great for um, having like a little station where you can lay your breast pump parts out to dry. And I just have some that are dedicated for that. And they're also good if baby spits up to like wipe his little or her little mouth and like, you know, their clothes and kind of tidy them up a little bit because I think like receiving blankets are great for cuddling and, you know, in a pinch, but they're not absorbent. And I don't, I didn't find that the birth, burp, sorry, burp cloths that I got online happened to be very absorbent at all. So the towels have been working really great for me. So I just bought some that are dedicated for baby and they get washed only with his stuff. So that's worked out really well for us. And then next up I wanted to show you is the um, Cuddlebug Baby Wrap. So this brand is Cuddlebug, it's called, see that? And it's just like a giant piece of fabric and it just wraps, you use it to wrap around your body and in a certain way so that you can tuck the baby in and it works as a carrier. So baby will be on your chest and facing you with their head around like your chest area so that their face is um, not covered by the fabric. And um, that way you can have like your hands free to do things while baby wants to be close to you. Cause a lot of times newborns, they can't tolerate being put down. They just want to be cuddled and just want to be held. But as busy moms, we need to eat, we need to do laundry, we need to wash dishes, all those kinds of things like go on in day-to-day -day life. But your baby wants to be held at the same time. Um, I've also worn it to take him for walks around the neighborhood and get fresh air and he just loves it and he feels comfortable in it. Um, so I would highly recommend this and I will have this linked in my description box as well because it was another item that I got from my baby registry. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you for this little haul thing for these items here on my bed is my diaper bag. My It's a backpack and this is by the brand Mom Inside and it's not leather, it's faux leather but the quality is excellent. There's so many zippers and pockets, insulated pockets on the inside and these two on the outside. It's got really good strong straps and extra clips to adjust um, to make it like, comfortable for you. And it also has this strap here on the back. So I guess you could attach it to like the handle of your luggage if you were traveling and you had your suitcase with you. And that way this can just slide on top of there and it can be like your little carry-on bag. So I really love this. And maybe in a separate video, I'll show you how I pack my, my diaper bag, what I keep in there and how I keep it organized. 
So that is that. And this was also a gift from my baby registry. So thank you so much to the person who bought me this. I love it and I use it every single day. It's also like pretty stylish and my husband can wear it too and it's not like so loud. Like, oh, that's definitely a diaper bag. It just looks like kind of like it just looks chic. It's nice, classy, just like a backpack. So I thought that was perfect for the both of us. So that is everything that I consider to be my baby essentials, mostly uh, surrounding feeding. Um, oh yeah, and then I also have this that I wanted to show. So I got this pillow. I wanted this pillow for such a long time. I wanted it originally to like lean against when I'm reading. I love to read, but um, I couldn't find one that I liked for a price that I wanted to pay. And now all the back to school stuff is in the stores. So I got this at Walmart. It was in the back to school section. It has a little handle on the top. Um, and it's perfect to, pr to prop up and lean my back against um, when I'm doing those late night feedings for my baby. So it's really comfortable and you could just like lean against it and it supports your back so comfortably. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a pillow like this with the little arms. It is very comfortable and it's been very helpful for me in alleviating some of my back pain. And it was only $19.88. So go and get you one of these if you're planning on nursing in bed or feeding in bed. So that's it for the items that I've got here. And then I'm gonna show you some other items that I have in my room and in the house. So over here on my dresser, I just have three little caddies that I keep things in there uh, right next to my bed that I find useful all the time. So I just have them organized in these three caddies. So this first one here has his bibs and burp cloths and receiving blankets. And sometimes there's towels in there too, but so far I use them all, they must be in the laundry. And then in the second one I have here in the back, I have the all the instruction manuals for the different um, things that he has. So like the breast pump, the cuddle bug wrap, and the swing that's downstairs. And then I also keep scissors, snacks, some gripe water, some syringes to administer the gripe water, a hair clip, and these are little um, breast pads for if you're leaking, if you're still nursing. And then over here in this one, I just keep like little handy baby supplies. So a lot of these gifts that I got from my baby shower. So these are wipes for the pacifier and toys. And then I got some other wipes for hands and face, I think. Let's see if it will focus. Yeah, hand and face wipes. And there is some boogie wipes. And I also have some oh, back in there. Some uh, baby Tylenol, the Hydrosense for uh, sinus issues, and D drops, baby D drops. And then in this front one, I keep things that mommy needs, like prenatal vitamins. There's also some Tylenol for me. Um, these are the folic acid tablets and um, one of those thermometers like that the no the no touch kind and then some uh, cream for my back and then I have some salve for diaper rash and skin irritations some hand lotion from Bath and Body Works <laughs> that was a gift for me from my baby shower and then this is just a little um, baby nail care kit so all the little items inside are um, like the same color and same theme as the little bear so it's super cute I love that I got a navy blue one that's shaped like a monkey for my brother and sister-in-law for their little kids and then my sister-in-law got me this one for my part of my baby shower gifts so that is super cute and comes in handy all the time and then in here in the top drawer of the dresser <laughs> it's full I keep um, his clothes that currently are fitting him. So on this side I have tops and onesies. Then in the back I have shorts and more t-shirts and onesies. Then I have, these are like one piece outfits that zip up or shirts and pants or shirts and shorts in this uh, pile here. And then over here is the, his sleeping clothes. So like little onesies that have the zippers or and the feet on there. And um, 
or the buttons. So that's what he sleeps in and I have a bunch of them that are currently fitting him. So those are all piled up in there. I don't fold them because I find they're difficult to fold and he wears so many of them. If he spits up, he wears so many of them throughout the day or night. So I just don't bother to fold those ones. And that's how I keep that. So now I'm gonna quickly show you his bassinet area where he sleeps. Okay, so over here is his little bassinet area where my baby sleeps. So this is the Graco pack and play and it has the little change table attachment on there, but we take it off for when he's sleeping. And because he's a newborn, it's on the highest setting. So you don't have to bend down so far to pick him up, but as he grows, you change the height in there. And in this part here where his mattress is, he also has a crib wedge that is just like a triangle shaped pillow that keeps him propped up a little bit when he's sleeping and it helps um, with like uh, not spitting up so much and not having a reflux issue. And over here in the caddy part that's attached, I just keep his baby wipes and diapers. And then in this back one, I have some uh, Q-tips, some diaper rash cream, this baby lotion, and that is some rubbing alcohol. And back here, I just have some little hats that he wears if he's cold. But I just wanted to plug this, <laughs> not sponsored, but this Johnson's Cotton Touch Baby Lotion for face and body smells so nice and it's such a light formula. It's so beautiful. I've actually used it on my face too and I really, really like it. It makes it super soft and it smells so nice, but it's not too strong. So I have one of these here and I also have one downstairs. And now I'm just going to show you the swing that he has and that's where he hangs out sometimes when I'm busy doing other things. So I'll take you downstairs and I'll show you that. I'm just going downstairs and I will show you his little swing. So this is the Graco um, three in one. I think it's called the Graco three in one simple swing. So it has three positions so that the swing can go from like, I kind of have it on an angle right now, but it can be facing this way or in the middle or to the opposite side. But I just learned today that you can kind of keep it on an angle and it still swings. So it just swings back and forth gently. It also plays music and the clips are adjustable and it has these little stars that hang from it like a mobile the mobile doesn't move on its own it just kind of hangs there but it's something interesting for baby to look at so we have that and uh, i put him in there like from time to time when he can tolerate being put down while i'm busy doing something else because a lot of times you need somewhere safe to put baby while you're busy taking care of other things in the household so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found some of that information about the items that I find essential to be useful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.